Well, hopefully we have audio. If not, oh well. Uh, we'll check. Da, 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 da. Hey. It's been like the summary of this entire series. If we have audio or not. Well, welcome back to Pop Unboxing. This is Pop Unboxing number six. Boom. We have a Christmas theme for this one. A little early in the season. But uh, we're pretty excited about these. So, yeah, I'm let's get patient. started. Okay, first one. We got R2-D2, Christmas version. The R2-D2 uh, reindeer pop. Mm -hmm. uh, let's take a quick peek under the hood of this one, or exactly on the hood. Oh, it's very bright. Um, so the thing behind cool. these, this pop is when okay, I started so pop I collecting, I had quite the collection cool. already, and I decided... I would not collect Star Wars ones because I would get a little out of hand with them. But I have decided to make an exception specifically for the Christmas pops. So, oh, it's a bobble. It is a bobble. That's one of the reasons I hate Star Wars pops. But Wait, they're all bobbles too? Yeah, they're all. Dude, you just stuck in me. You decided to take them out in a weird way. <laughs> I just went bottom down like you usually do. Very cool box. Um, looking at the pop itself. It's got a stand. He it's sits nice. on his stand. All the Star Wars pops have stands. They're so weird. Um, you got your Star Wars with Star Wars logo. Very, very cool. And then look here. He bobbles. He wobbles. Well, I don't he understand wibbles. why R2-D2 needs to be a bobble thing, though. I don't know either. Because he is... <laughs> wow. That's, that's it, right? Wow. <laughs> Try not to spin his head too much. Yeah, I like him. I love the antlers. I think it's um, really cute. Not a ton of glue marks. That's something we talk about a lot, is glue marks and how much we hate them, because they look ugly. Uh, this one doesn't have a ton. Um, most of everything here is sculpted. If it's not sculpted, it's well-seamed. I enjoy that. I think it's I think this is a good pop. It's awesome. I love him. Uh, I love that he has little ornaments on his antlers. It's just a nice touch that makes it feel more fun. Because if it was just antlers, I wouldn't have gotten them. But like yay! It. Pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, Put it in here. Next one. Ooh, Darth Vader. Darth Christmas. Vader with the candy cane. Mm -hmm. Don't you open it from the bottom yes, to, I do. to keep the integrity of your tab? I know, but you just like murdered that last one so bad. By I went from the bottom. I know, but you like almost popped this guy <laughs> Oh, trying to get out. All right. So this one's pretty special for a few reasons, but the first thing you notice is that Darth Vader is holding a candy cane. Very, very funny. It's the um, festive version. <laughs> the what? The festive version. The festive. He bobbles too. It's a little bit of a cop out, I feel like, but I think it's fun. I think he needs a handle and it needs to be a lightsaber uh, candy cane, but that's <laughs> just me. Um, looking here, he's got some epoxy marks that or just like lasting uh, being in a package could some condensation here and there um, he's very shiny I like it I think he's the difference in this texture his cape his buttons and his lightsaber sitting on his hip all very good um, he's got his choke hand out um, there take a look got his, his choke going um, I like him I think he's cool yeah I don't have a ton to say again there's no uh, markings that are very distinct. I think with the Star Wars one, they keep them very, very low key if they ever have them. Yeah. Um, I have a Han Solo exclusive one. It's probably the most well formed pop I've ever seen. It came from a loot crate. It just, there's just no seams and it looks gorgeous. I like how they pick different kind of uh, like consistencies for the black plastic for mm -hmm. like the arms and the hands and the helmet and the helmet and the hands are shiny and then there's the matte black and it's pretty cool i like how his cape is curved like he's like just whipped out his lightsaber mm -hmm. um yeah pretty good detail i really like them again these are my first i dig star the wars stands pops, man so. i think star wars pops are the stands get me sometimes they're really stupid and out of place and kind of take me away from it but other times they're pretty cool yeah. all right Number three is Chewie, covered Chew. in Christmas lights. Back. Looks like he's pretty pissed. Dude, yeah, he looks like he's trapped in Christmas lights. Here's a look at the outside of the box there. Get a, a full 360 going. 
Very cool. Very well detailed cards. box. Yeah, of course. We're so I was just gonna grab it. Yeah. Uh, What's wrong, John? Am I not opening your pops correctly? No, I don't have a beef with that. Mm -hmm. As long as you don't pop their heads off. That's another thing about bobbleheads. I hate that their heads are like all funky. Well, all right. It's gross. So the paint detailing on Chewbacca is the first thing I noticed. It's not superior to any extent. They've got red and green um, for the lights plastered all over him. Uh, some of it's spackled onto the brown, which isn't a huge complaint, but just for detail, it kind of, eh. The head is a completely different texture than the rest of the fur right. it's on the like body. It's kind of stark in the difference there, which is not a great thing. I think if they could have kept the consistency of the head compared to the rest of it, it would have been very cool. There is smudges all around the base, mm. like paint smudges. So this was this doesn't look very well handled. Oh no, that's epoxy smudges. There's no glue on the one foot. <clears throat> so he's just like free from on one foot. Like they had a like that's, tip to all Yeah, the, yeah, that seems like a hard manufacturing error. Well, I'm gonna have to fix that one. Um, I yeah. I'm not very impressed with how this one was handled. No, was... it doesn't it doesn't look right. It doesn't look. Uh, it looks like a bad batch. Looks great. It looks gross. It doesn't look... Like, it looks messy. It I'm does. Happy. I'm not happy with that one. His head's pretty clean, though. I like the head. The head's if, good if it was, If the head matched the body, I'd be very happy. But the head looks like somebody... It came from a different... Like, a different thing entirely. Like, somebody who did the head, somebody did the body. Whoever did the body needs to be fired. It's probably all machine. I don't know. Anyway. I don't know if a machine can get this detailed. But... Yeah, so that's Chewbacca. I like I like the model. I think the concept is really funny. Him tangled up in lights, it's great. Um, from a detailed perspective, the glue lines are ridiculous. There's a an epoxy of mold that's just melded the base. So what they what they use what they use is actually a um, a paint thinner that um, melts the plastic and it melts the plastic together. That's what they use. You use it when you uh, custom build Legos and stuff, and models, and a lot of modeling. Um, but it looks like this, when they did it, it just spilled all the way off and melted the base. If you can see there, that sucks. Yeah. But, yeah. John, don't get itchy. It's okay. We all have those rarities. No, it's cool. Like I said, I'll probably try and clean it up and... See if I can get him to stay on his stand. But overall, he's pretty fun though. I like the idea. And uh, if you don't look at the detail too finely, like he'll look good do, on my shelf. <laughs> yeah, he'll, he'll look good. Yeah. yeah. Or in your Christmas tree. All right. Pop number four. Oh God. It's I'm not Christmas a... SpongeBob. I hate SpongeBob. I'm not the biggest fan of SpongeBob, but my wife started showing me episodes. After Bob, Pop, I have like my respect for you. It's hey, come on! Now. This thing is cute. I don't want to touch it. Anyway, my me, my wife loves SpongeBob. She grew up on SpongeBob, and so this is pretty this much is black, her addition. Cold, dead eyes to our collection. Ugh. I can um, that. overall, he actually has some really good detail. Uh, not there's a ton a, of glue marks. There's a little bit on his arms, just in the yeah, back. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, all the porouses are sculpted into him, uh, which is really nice. He's got a pretty cool texture for uh, SpongeBob Pop. I'm I'm not a fan. He's a little see-through, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Although it kind of makes him glow in the light. Um, he's got a cute little present in his hand with metallic paint. Um, doesn't look like any of the paint's spilling over, which is good, because usually when they get metallic-y, they get it all over everything. Because they do metallic last, but on yeah. this one, it looks like they glued in the metallic present. Yeah. It looks really good. Um, yeah. He's good just detail. creepy to me, man. I won't touch it. He's got a little Santa hat. He's cute. I like him. I'm not touching it. Okay. And then, last but not least, is... Patrick! I'll, pet, I'll touch Patrick. Okay. Like Patrick. 
Patrick's awesome. Patrick's super funny. Man. He's he's, he's got a dorky this, character. Yeah, he's got the dorky. Take a look, look at the the box there. Patrick Star. I, I mean, like, I hate I hate SpongeBob, but I can't be mad because Patrick is just like this mentally handicapped neighbor. <laughs> I mean, in a in a net mentally handicapped neighborhood, and he's just like the one that's got it the worst off. Anyway. So I just, I have to feel bad for the poor dude. Um, looking at the, a few different things, his head is definitely a separate piece from the scarf and the body. Um, it's a very well-sculpted pop. Yeah, the um, seam line is hid very well with that. With the uh, scarf. With the scarf. And mm -hmm. so. um, there's a little bit of marking where the, uh, the glue line on the scarf is, but it's very unnoticeable unless you're looking pretty hard. Um, he's got a good base to him. I like him. Very I think sturdy. he's cute. Um, got a candy cane in his mouth. If I didn't know who this was, I would like it a hundred percent more. I I, th I like that pop. Yeah, I like how the detail. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the detail on the scarf is all etched in. It's not that you have like a texture mm -hmm. of like an actual. It's a knitted. it's a full like cotton knit scarf. Yeah, yeah. it's it's pretty awesome. It's pretty epic. Uh, he's adorable. Um, yeah. No, the original SpongeBob pops I refused to get because they were absolutely terrifying. You should look them up sometime. I don't want to. I it's just absolutely despise nightmares. Them. Anyway, all right. So that's this. That's that for this video. Which one's your favorite? All right. Uh, I will easily give my pick to R2D2. Just because uh, he's adorable. He's freaking gorgeous, and his head swivels. I know I don't like pops that are bobbles. Because they suck. But his head kind of swivels. You can make it swivel a little bit like R2-D2. So, yeah, I, I love it. I, I like R2. What's, what's your favorite? He's he's by far the coolest. I've always been a fan of the two droids, C-3PO and R2-D2. And R2 is the bomb. Gotta give it to R2. With a little bubble. Yeah, right. just gotta give it to him. Although Patrick is adorable. Patrick is adorable. I okay. would say my second place for all of this would be Patrick, and I absolutely hate SpongeBob and everything. Well, which one's to worse? Do you, do, you, do you not like Chewy or do oh, you not Chewy like is a just, SpongeBob better? Chewy, like the I would pick Chewy absolutely if the the fucking model wasn't so bunged up. And now we're PG thirteen. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> all the same, it's just. It's a shame because Chewie was easily my favorite, and now he's all just, messed up. Oh yeah, it's, when you when you look at these at from a critical standpoint, and you just see one that's like just a normal person would be like, oh, this pop, cool, and I collect way too yeah, many, and I'm definitely a collector at this point. So all right, so we're giving it to R two. That's been this video. Thank you all for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. Uh, this is John. He cool. joined me for this one. Um, check us out on Twitch every other Sunday. We'll play D&D. &D. Um, I've been Mr. Raleigh again, and have a wonderful day. Bye.